This video is the third episode of the House to Home series, where I'll be transforming a newly built two-bedroom apartment based out of Sydney's North Shore. Previously, I've shared the process of building the corner home office and organizing the storage closet in this apartment. In this video, I'll take you through the complete design process and tackling the open plan area, which includes the hallway, dining, and living room. The apartment itself has a total internal area of 75 square meters and a 10 meter square balcony for a total of 85 square meters. It has two west-facing awning window and a full height north-facing window to the balcony, which gets most of the sunlight during midday. The clients initially reached out to me while they were still renting an older apartment unit that requires a few major refresh and storage options. They then moved into this new apartment while slowly getting rid of old stuff to make way for this project. Upon starting the project, I asked the clients to gather a few images on Pinterest in order to get a general sense of vibe they're drawn to. The initial board has a mix of different styles from Scandinavian, modern, and some of which are more industrial. I then go into each one in more detail to better understand what they liked about it. We narrowed down on this photo as the look and feel for this project. For the brief and requirement, the client wanted a decent sized couch where they can lounge around, a dedicated area for work and study, with extra space for sewing machine, and a serene mood with filtered light as the sunlight gets very harsh in the late afternoon. Before I continue, I wanted to briefly thank today's sponsor, Karma. Karma is an app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code. I personally like to use Karma to organize my shopping list, and make sure I'm getting the best deal for items in my project. I also downloaded the Karma extension on my phone and computer to easily save items I might need for upcoming projects. You can also get notified whenever there is a sale or when an item goes back in stock. One of my favorite features is the shopping list, where I can organize items for different projects I'm working on. To ensure that I get the best possible deal, Karma scans the web for coupon codes and applies them automatically at checkout, a feature that is exclusive to the Chrome extension. You can also earn Karma cash when you shop from select retail partners, where it will give you cash back and to a good cost of your choice. If you're looking to save some money and organize your shopping list, I highly recommend checking them out. Click the link in the description box to download their free app and Chrome extension. To ensure that everything will properly fit into the space, I start out by sketching a quick floor plan with all the major furniture pieces. We went with an L-shaped corner desk which I've shared in a past video in order to maximize the space for a standard work setup and a place for sewing. In the living area, we went with the Serra sofa with Chase from Rosa due to its curve and low back height. Between the fabric choices, we went with the white boucle to give a light and neutral base with a bit of texture. The sofa then became the centerpiece in which I built the mood board upon. Once we have a direction and decided on a few of the major pieces, I began the installation process, starting with the entryway. I got this organizer from Etsy, which is beautifully handmade from solid Tasmanian oak. As I'm installing into a plasterboard, I used the provided 8mm plug to secure them properly to the wall. I started by marking the distance between the two holes and use an appropriate size drill for the plugs. Once the plugs are in, I insert the screw 3 quarters in and align them with the hole at the back of the organizer. This organizer is a great all-in-one solution for small entryway, as it combines a magnetic key holder, mail holder, coat rack, and small shelf on top. Next on the entryway is a mirror and shoe cabinet which is placed on an otherwise dead corner to keep the walkway open. I got this round mirror with wooden accent to add a little interest and useful for a quick checkup before leaving the apartment. Below it, I did a simple DIY to the white IKEA Bisa cabinet. 
By adding a custom cut MDF in classic oak and a Gorilla Glue on the surface to attach the wood top. I had them cut to 50 by 30 centimeters to get a bit of overhang for a more elegant look. Moving on to the living room, the client wanted an oak color TV unit. So I decided to do a little DIY to the popular IKEA Vesta by getting some hardware legs and handles. I got this legs that goes up to the side of the furniture as I wanted a simple but elegant approach to lift up the TV unit. The hardware are in matte black to contrast the light oak and reference the sofa legs. I then extended the same approach to the handles with a drawer lip pull that is installed vertically instead of horizontally. To get that soft filtered light into the living space, we opted for a combination of sheer curtain and blinds. On the full height sliding door window, I installed sheer curtains with a top mount track that goes to the ceiling recess. When clicking the curtains to the track, I alternated forward and backward to create that elegant S-shaped pattern. On the smaller awning windows, we got roller blinds in a metro light filtering fabric and off white color. We also specified them with a recess fit, front roll, and white chains in order to blend in with the surrounding wall. This helps create a more seamless look when the blinds are rolled down. Once the furnitures and hardwares are installed, I proceed with lighting. We got this lantern floor lamp to give a soft diffuse glow and a hint of Japanese style. Together with the roller blinds, we are able to filter the harsh sunlights and get a cozy atmosphere during the day. I paired the table and desk lamps with Philips Hue bulbs, along with a 2 meter light strip behind the TV. This allowed us to play around with the lighting, which makes for a nice space to relax and wind down to after a long day. The final step is adding the core to give life to the space. Apart from the small tree that the clients own and some small plants, I also added some vase and flower arrangements, personal belongings such as books, and small items to complete the look. The clients also got a large canvas painting to go above the desk, which adds a nice pop of color to the space. With everything completed, it is now time to take a quick tour and some before and after of the space. What was previously an empty apartment has now been transformed into a serene, japandi inspired home with smart storage solutions and a dedicated space for work and sewing. The combination of entryway organizer, together with the shoe cabinet and wall mirror tucked into the corner, allowed us to have a compact but fully functional hallway without sacrificing any walking space. In the living room, the choice of a low back sofa with legs gives the space a more open and airy feel without sacrificing looks when viewed from the back. We also opted for one with a wide arm as the clients wanted something to sit on and get up very easily. In the middle, we opted for a grey coffee table which anchors the pieces well without overpowering. To complement the look, we got this beautiful silver and ivory rug that brings a touch of elegance and simplicity to the room. The two-tone hues together with a sandy textured vase, glazed stoneware, and boucle fabric gives a natural imperfection that is visually interesting despite having little variations in color. The dining area features a rectangular dining table with rounded edges to add some softness and balance out all the straight lines from the opposite desk. We reused the old dining chairs as the grey fabric perfectly complements the light ash table. On the corner desk area, the clients got a pair of brown leather chair which I think contrasts nicely with the light oak and white drawers. Finally, the addition of sheer curtains and light filtering roller blinds give the space a soft and filtered natural light while adding texture and a much needed protection from the harsh afternoon light. 
as the sun slowly sets down, the lantern floor lamp gives a beautiful warm glow that blends nicely with the light strip behind the TV. And that wraps up the makeover and tour of this apartment. Everything shown in this video will be linked in the description below. For more ideas and inspiration, you can check out my playlist for this series or the makeovers I've done on my own apartment. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.